Hey folks, good morning. Welcome to Advisory. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back from your long weekend. I hope you guys got a little bit of rest, had a little bit of fun. One thing before we get started, I wanted to make sure everybody knew that the construction has now moved. The classes that were in a portable or the library lab are now back in their classrooms. But if you are in these rooms, B312, 313, 14, 15, 16, 320, A320, and A317 with any of these lovely teachers, then those rooms are being reconstructed and you are going to have class out in the portables. Don't forget that the portables are out by the west wing, the B-Tech wing on the first floor, straight out the door. It may take some getting used to, but this is the new set of rooms that will be closed for the foreseeable future. The stairwell that was closed is now open, so you can go all the way to the third floor, and the stairwell on the front of the building that was open all the way to the third will likely be closed to the third floor. So just pay attention to the signs, all right? Ask an adult, and we'll help you out. Today for advisory, what I thought we would do is take a moment to look back at the previous quarter that we just got done with, all right? Grades are finalized, they are in, there's no going back. What is done is done with quarter one, all right, the first grading period. So what I wanna do with us now is think about how quarter one went and how we can plan ahead better to improve as we go through the year. After the video, you'll be doing your own reflection based on some of the questions that I'm about to go over. Okay, so the first thing I want you to think about is what have you learned about your classes? All right, you've got 10 classes this year. What do you know about each of them now? Think about what classes are more difficult for you as opposed to which ones might be a little bit easier. Think about which classes take up a lot of your energy and time. Sometimes a class may not be necessarily difficult or easy, but it does take up a lot of time to complete the tasks and to get done what you need to get done in that class. And then some classes may not take as much. And then think about what are the products or assignments that you are tasked with in each class? Is it mostly writing stuff? Is it practice problems and math? Are they more focused on smaller assignments or large projects? Those are the kind of things you wanna think about. You also wanna think about what you have learned about your teachers. You've got at least 10 adults that are in charge of teaching you certain things, and they all might have a different way of going about it, and that's what I want you to think about when you think about your teachers this year. You can think about what are their expectations for students and how do they communicate those expectations? Is everything gathered in a syllabus? Is everything online? Do they mostly say things out loud and expect you to write them down? After nine weeks with this person, think about what are this teacher's expectation of me as a student? What is their teaching style? All right, some folks might be more up at the front and saying all the information and expecting you to get it. Some folks might be a little bit more hands off to where they let you do some of the learning yourself and you have to be willing to put some effort in in that way. So how do each of your teachers teach and which ones are maybe more or less difficult for you to understand through their teaching style? How does this teacher grade? Which assignments carry more weight, all right? How harshly do they grade on homework, on uh, tests, on written work? And the last thing, what is the best way to communicate with them? Are they easy to approach during class or are they maybe a little bit more stressed out and so you need to wait until later to talk to them? Is it best to send them an email or a remind text before talking to them in person? Is it best to stay before or after class to talk to them? You should have a better idea of this by now, having talked to your teachers throughout one quarter. And so think about what is the best way I can communicate with this teacher moving forward. And then lastly, I want you to think about what you have learned about yourself as a student. All right, specifically as a student, not necessarily as a person, although we will talk about that. But what have you learned about yourself academically? What are some of the things that you've learned about your strengths? What are some of the obstacles that you might have in front of you in order to succeed academically? And those obstacles can be internal obstacles, maybe some like self-doubt or thinking that you're not uh, smart enough or good enough to do this or that, or maybe they're external Maybe there are a lot of external obstacles in your way. Maybe there's something about how you're transported to school and what home is like that makes certain things more difficult. And so think about what those obstacles are to you succeeding. And are they internal, as in can I control them? You know, are they coming from within? Or are they external? Are they in your environment? Are the obstacles that you might have to overcome around you and in your everyday life? Think about when is the best time for you to do work. I know for me, my brain is the most active, at least once I wake up, in the morning. And by the afternoon, I am really dragging and it's hard for me to focus mentally on things. 
that might be true for you. You may have a harder time waking up in the morning and getting your brain active. And so you may work best at night after everyone's gone to bed. Whatever time during the day or week uh, is best for you to complete work. And I also want you to think of this. How do you react when you are corrected or redirected through grades or in class? So for instance, if you get a bad grade on an assignment that you turned in, is your first reaction, this teacher hates me, or I am never going to be good enough, or I can't believe I got this, or is your reaction closer to, okay, I got that bad grade, what can I do to improve that grade? You are here ultimately to learn, which means that you're going to be corrected or redirected, uh, whether it's in academics or behavior, while you're here at school. And so it's very important to think about how you react when someone correct, when a teacher, I should say, corrects you on something or you get a bad grade on something. If you have a pretty good understanding of all of this stuff, you can move forward and know what you need and can advocate for yourself moving forward. Okay, this is what you're gonna see on the next slide. You have the opportunity to do this activity in English or Espanol, but when you type in the bit.ly address, it'll ask you if you want to make a copy of this document, and yes, you do. And this will show up right here. Now, this is basically a breakdown of the questions that I asked just now in the video. So it has 10 slots. I know it looks like a lot, but it's important to look at all of your classes all at once, I think. So you'll notice on this chart on the left, you can fill out your teacher and class name. Right here, you can put what grade you made in that class over the last nine weeks. I want you to rate each class's difficulty one through five, all right? If it's an easy class, you should be in the ones. If it's a very difficult class, it's closer to five. Same thing when it comes to the amount of energy or time required. The class that takes up the most energy and time should be a five, and the one that takes up the least energy and time should be around a one. You can write how you would describe this teacher's teaching style. And this is just for you, by the way. This is a reflection for you to think about how your teachers teach. What are some of the expectations this teacher has for their students and how do they communicate those expectations? Write a little blurb here for each of those. And then how does this teacher grade? Which assignments have the most weight and how fast do they get assignments back to you? Now you don't necessarily have to fill out every single box for every single class, but I would suggest and encourage you to fill out the boxes for those classes that you have a lower grade in because clearly there needs to be some sort of reflection there in order for you to improve your grade moving forward. Next, you can write down your answers to those questions I asked about what you learned about yourself as a student, i.e. what your strengths are, what are some of the internal and external obstacles you face, when during the day or the week is the best time for you to do work, and how do you usually react when you are corrected or redirected in class or through grades. And then finally, the last three things that I want you to think about are these. Look forward. Look ahead towards the next quarter, towards the next semester and a half of school this year, and think what is a specific goal that you want to set for the new grading period for quarter two? Two, what motivates you to succeed in your class, and how can you focus on that motivation this quarter? Your motivation may only be, I don't want to fail and I want to graduate, and sometimes that's a perfectly good motivation. And then number three, thinking of a specific challenge that you face with maybe a teacher, maybe you don't get along with a certain teacher, but you have to stay with that teacher for the rest of the year anyway. Maybe there's a class that is specifically difficult for you, or if there's some sort of internal or external challenge you face with yourself, I want you to think about how you plan on meeting and overcoming that challenge over the next quarter. I know that might seem like a lot, but you have the rest of advisory time to do it, and teachers, you can give them however much time you want, but I think it's very important to take a moment and reflect on how we did and how we can improve moving forward. Otherwise, we're gonna probably repeat the same mistakes we've always repeated. That's all from me. Go ahead and go to the next slide and choose either English or Spanish. Take some time to reflect on last quarter and plan for this next quarter. Be good to yourself and others, and I'll see you real soon.